Hey guys, um, so this week I am matching two Italian desserts. Two things to think about when matching wines to Italian desserts. One, they're often not too sweet, which is a really nice thing. Sometimes if you can have a very sweet dessert and then you have to pick a sweeter dessert wine and you get kind of into this arms race and it just becomes too cloying. Second of all, they can be intentionally often a little on the dry side. So you want a wine that you can drink in a you know decent amount so that it can actually provide refreshment. So because of that, I don't think you want something too high in alcohol. So my thought here is to do a Moscato d'Asti, and also of course it's an Italian wine from the Pied Piedmont from Northern Italy. Um, Marenko is the producer, this is $19. And it's made from the Muscat grape, which many of you have, have probably eaten. And it's such a cool wine because it actually smells and tastes like that grape, which a lot of wines don't necessarily. Um, mm. So you get that beautiful like perfumed, floral, apple-y quality, which is so delicious. And it's also, it's quite refreshing. It's only 5.5% um, alcohol compared to champagne or another kind of sparkling wine, which would be 12, 12.5%. So you can drink a lot of it, which is great. Um, and, you know, I think it would be a great match to any of the desserts that you're doing. One thing you do want to keep in mind, the bubbles in it aren't dissolved in it the same way they are for other sparkling wines, so they'll dissipate pretty quickly. So you want to drink it really pretty quickly after pouring it because this is so delicious, that should not be hard. So enjoy, you guys.